Do you have an area in your house where you'd like to monitor the temperature or humidity? Are you trying to convince your AC repair person that a room isn't as cool or as warm as other areas of your house? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do all of this with the Govee thermometer. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about using the Govee thermometer in your smart home. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Now, here's what we're going to be talking about in this video, and that's using the Govee thermometer, and it's also humidity monitor in your smart home. First, what is the Govee thermometer? Go over a little bit of what it can do and I'll show you an actual, the way I've got my first sensor set up and we'll then in the last step, we'll go about installation and configuration. Well, I don't know about you, but I seem to always have this problem at least once a year when one or more rooms just aren't as warm as they should be or as cool as they should be. And trying to convince a repair person when they come in, you know, most of the time they think you're a little bit in the cabeza. So having something like the Govee thermometer slash humidity is going to be very handy. They did not waste anything to the packaging. This is what you're looking at when you get it. Very compact box. The Plus with this is that it uses three AA batteries, so no more special batteries. And I don't see any reason why you couldn't put rechargeables in it. So this is something very easy to configure. You're gonna see once we get a little bit later in the video that we'll set it up with Bluetooth and you'll turn it on to Wi-Fi. Now it only supports 2.4. And for this kind of sensor, that's not a bad thing. It's not gonna be high bandwidth. And it's also gonna allow you to place it a little bit further from your access points than if you were to have five gig. And this is what I'm saying that they really didn't waste anything because here's the actual sensor itself. Now, the little strap is something you install and this is something that is going to be very handy because you can just hang it on a doorknob. You don't have to mount it. It's it's a very mobile uh, thermometer slash humidity sensor. So if you've gotten certain times of the year when one or more places in your house are having a problem that just they're not the same temperature you'd like them to be. If you've gotten into crypto mining and where you've got the gear, you want to make sure the temperature's not getting too hot. This is a very ideal thing to have. Price is very reasonable on it. So the link's in the description. You, I think you'll see very quickly why this is something handy to have. Now, what we're looking at now is the Govee app. This is something you'll need to download before you can start the configuration process. There is an account you'll need to create. And as with anything, when you create an account, please, please use a password manager, use a unique password. And any time that there's the ability to turn on two-factor authentication, please go with that. All it takes is one time and you can be very appreciative that you don't have to have a whole recreation process or lose access to your account. Something to think about. Now, this is the one sensor I've got up and running. We're going to add another one here in just a second. So you've got the ability to name where the sensor is. What you want to do probably is if you don't say label it with a room or even if you do have take a label maker and put something on here so that you know which one definitively it is. Even though there's information on the back that will help you isolate it and identify it, go ahead and take a few seconds and put a label on it. And all it takes is that one time you're trying to figure out, especially when you've got multiples, which one that you're working with or you've got to go change the batteries. In. Now the screen's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it does use Bluetooth initially for configuration, or if it's at close range, it will use that for communication. It tells you if it's seeing Wi-Fi. Now, here's what I like. It uses three AA batteries. We've got an on-screen indication what condition the battery's in. So before the sensor goes bye-bye on you, you'll know that the batteries are weak and can get those taken care of. They ship with alkaline batteries. I don't see any reason why you couldn't re choose rechargeables, but always check the latest documentation. If there's any question, check with the folks at Govee to make sure that there's not going to be a problem with it because rechargeable batteries do have a slightly lower voltage. So that may or may not cause a problem. I don't think so in this case, since they're running three batteries, because that gets you in the range of four and a half volt. Now this does pull the device periodically, although you can force an update. And if you want to see details, then you just tap on whichever line you're looking at and you can see the 
indication here of the temperatures that it's currently recording you can see the humidity so especially if you've got a dehumidifier in your house or a humidifier you've got a very good indication in a room so if you've got a family member or pet that's sensitive to a certain level of humidity then this is going to be something to be very handy to have that you know exactly what the temperature is and what the humidity is and you can export the data there's you can look at it by the hour the day week so you can get a very good snapshot as to what it's been over a significant period of time now you can go for a year well obviously i don't go back that far because i haven't had mine that long but certainly for a month so when you're in certain times of the year when weather does change periodically then this is going to be something that can be a very handy aid to letting you know what's going on in terms of temperature humidity so you've got a independent source now is this laboratory grade no but for the price you know it's giving you a good option because you've got to get into laboratory grade gear you're talking a lot of money and then i don't think most of us probably need that level and if you do you're you got a very good reason for it when you get to the point of configuring the sensor make sure you pull this little plastic tab out of there because that's stopping the batteries from being active in the device so otherwise it's not going to show up when you start to configure it now to add the device We'll go up here to the right hand corner and we'll tap on plus. We will want to select home improvement. We will go down here. What we have is the HS179. There we go. I had to scroll down the list a little bit. So we'll tap on 179 and we'll go ahead and pull the tab. Now make sure that Bluetooth is enabled on your phone. Okay, there we go. And this is OC78 and that should match to what you've got here. We're going to connect to it. And, and, and I like the fact that this does it with Bluetooth because that way you're not switching your phone in and out of different SSIDs or to a special one when you're first getting it set up. Okay, there we go. We'll leave that one just set as Wi-Fi thermometer because I'm not, I haven't made up my mind where it's going to go just yet. Then we'll tap on done. We will go here and I'm going to, it's picking up on the five, well, my phone's picking up on the five gig. So we'll tap there and it already knows the password because I've previously used this SSID. Tap done. So we're waiting now for it to get the device programmed. And naturally the more, the, the quicker you want it to happen is the longer it's going to take, but that's just the nature of the beast. While you're doing this, make sure that you have this next to the phone. And that way it's, because you don't want to put it on the other side of the, your house from where the phone is, just do it right beside it. And as so you see now, it is going to start collecting it doesn't have anything right now and we click on the gear icon then we can go ahead and change the name at some point and if we go all back out to the main page and you can change which one is at the top of the screen yes i know and we'll see the temperature so really you can't make this any easier to do so you probably may end up with more than one of these which is not a bad thing especially when you've got some parts of the house that may consistently not be in the same temperature range and i wish this had been available several years ago when i ran into the problem during the summer my garage would just be absolutely horrendous in terms of temperature and in the winter i would be able to see my breath when i was out in the garage and i'm like well this is not right you know other than take a regular thermometer out there i didn't have any way of, of getting tracking information and then i found out what the problem was apparently when they built the house they didn't put any insulation over the garage that got fixed very quickly this is the kind of thing will help you kind of spot hot spots warm spots and give you some definitive data that can be very useful if you're watching this on youtube you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.